She is Daihaya the Amazi queen, the Berber queen, the Auras queen, or the priestess. The first queen to rule the Amazi in the era when women had no place in society, insulted and buried in the dirt and from the evil of creatures. At the same time, Queen Dihia was able to collect the Berber word under her command for 35 years. Birth, the priestess was born as the Arabs like to call her in the city of Kenchela in Algeria in the year 585 AD, and in the year 680 AD, the Berbers gathered for her after the murder of King Axel Kusala, and she began to expel the invaders from North Africa, so she fought the Arabs led by Hassan bin Numan and was able to defeat them and expel them from Africa to the border with Egypt that was in the year 693 AD. After she secured the evil of the Arabs, she turned to fighting the Romans, and was able to defeat them and expel them from Tunisia, Africa. Five years later, Hassan bin al-Numan returned to the ball and sent to the Umayyad Caliph asking for extensions. What was written to the Caliph was, the nations of Euras have no end, and none of them stops at an end. It was fortunate for Hassan bin al-Numan that the queen adopted two sons, one of whom is Greek and the other is Amazi, and she had another Arab son named Khalid bin Yazid al qaisi she is 127 years old. When she learned of Khalid bin Yazid's betrayal and the advent of the Arabs, she said her famous saying, The Bedouins do not want anything from our country except gold, silver and minerals, and we are enough of them for farms and pastures. Dot quote. Speaking about her bravery, Ibn Khaldun said, Daya is a Berber knight, the like of which has not come in a long time. She used to ride a horse and seek among the people from Auras to Tripoli, carrying weapons to defend the land of her ancestors. Historian Santia Becker talks about the Queen's thought and the Amazi mentality, saying, the priestess has become a popular figure among the Berber activists in North Africa. They built a statue to commemorate her in Algeria. The priestess has become a symbol of the Berbers as a people who refuse to submit. They are free and ready to fight for freedom against foreign invaders. She is Daihaya the Amazi queen, the Berber queen,